So hey everyone and welcome back to another first day with FGO and Nano! Yay! And as you can see, we're gonna start today with Ushiba Kamaru, which now I can I finally actually say. I remember the first time I saw Ushiba Kamaru and uh, I could I couldn't pronounce her name not name her name if so my life depended on it, but uh, I, I got used to it. And also, I always uh, got like, wait, what? How how does her outfit work? You know, with the boob protection. I I always assume that she glued them onto her nipples, but they, I don't think they are actually. They just flying around, flapping around. And um, yeah, uh, she, as I remember, you guys stated that her design is pretty much based on, uh, you know, the tanuki and all that uh, stuff thing going on. Still, I actually don't make understand her outfit really much. It's still weird to me. And of course, if if she was a real tanuki, she would have big ass testicles. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The classic uh, tanuki, as in uh, Japanese mythos, uh, have uh, massive fucking balls. I say. I say. I, it's just me though. You know, I I, I like a big raccoon thing that can sit on the balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I, but well, still though, Ushiba Kamaru is. A, I I kind of liked her, especially in uh, Babylonia. That 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 she was really stellar there. Even as said, her outfit uh, makes little to no sense to me. But uh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, writer Ushiba Kamaru Minamoto no Yoshitsune. Oh yeah, that's that's her true name. Uh, source: Gigekiki, The Tale of Heiki. Region Japan, Kyotic Neutral, uh, doo -doo -doo. Creator Yushiro Higashide, uh, Nasu, Character Sign Mineji Sakamoto. Let's see. Strength D, Constitution C, Agility A, plus. what? That is high. Magic Power B, Luck A, Noble Fans A, plus. what? Dude, that is, that is, in that is some really is insane uh, skills. Uh, riding aid, a built of riding. One can manage every vehicle and beast, but they cannot manage dragon kinds. What? Oh yeah, she's a rider. I always, I, in a way, I always forget that because, um, what is he? What is she riding? When I think about it, uh, I mean, in her MP, she has dashing on boats. What? Magic resistance C, no for spells that were done with a chant of two verses or below. Cannot defend against large scale mage craft such as great mage craft and ritual spells. Um, personal skill Tengu Art War. What? Tengu? The bird? Demon troll? Oni? Uh, from the anecdote of being taught the art of war by, from a Tengu, an inhuman existence. Provides a bonus to close combat powers such as swordmanship, archer, and spearmanship, as well as skills such as military tactic and magical resistance. What? Seriously? What is that for super skill? Holy shit! Charisma C+, although she has a caliber that is not liked by everybody, if one gets closer, the closer they get, the more they become obsessed with a strange charm. Nani? The quick wit the quick witness of the swallow. Ah! Swallow, indeed. A skill from the moment of her body being done, done light like a swallow. At Goyo Oashi, she exchanged slash again and again with the formula of Benke without getting hit once. Ah, Benke. Ah, uh, uh, rip Benke, I say. I mean, considering his his skills in the game. Noble fat is Shana U Ryuritan, King Mahavaj Mahavaryo Kana. Dude! Mahavaryo Kana. Damn, what is that? That is a funky name. The embodiment of Ushiva Kamaru's various legends were created from right after she became Minamoto no Yoshitsune to the moment she perished in Oshu. These noble fantasies comprise of five secret techniques. Ah, oh. Yisaiten's eye, seeing with the six secret techniques. Forcibly relocate every, everyone that are on the field. It changes battle condition that creates an overwhelming advantage for each ally position and a overwhelming disadvantage for the enemy. What? Usumidori, Usumi a short step with heaven blade, a brilliant slash with Us Usumidori. This single tech delivery of the Shukuchi movement that was executed according to the footwork of Tengu is difficult to evade. 
Benke's steadfast position、uh, recreates an imitation of Musashi, Musashi Bo Benke's body alone. The more faith she has in Benke, the stronger the body becomes, resulting in a sturdy shield. It can defend against anti armor n o v e n s of rank B. What? Seriously? F- what the fuck? Dan no Ura, eight boat leap. Oh, that's the one we see in the game. A material lesson of Ushivakama's Ushiv- feat of leaping over eight boats as she displayed at Dan no Ura. No matter how difficult the train is in getting a foothold, if there's even a slightest play where she can place a f- her foot on, it's possible for her to move through terrain by jumping. Also, this technique further enhances her jumping power. Humaru, Spider Killer, demonstrated Ushi- Ush- Us- Usumidori's true power. He repels demons in the surrounding area and inflicts damage according to its sonic attack. Dude, this is insane! So she g e t like. Uh. One, two, three, four, five different techniques ability? Dude, holy shit! And she's a free star? God damn! These are some like insane ability. A ton of them, yikes. Uh, personality, a beautiful source woman with dignity and grace. Despite her beautiful figure showing an appearance like a flower blooming in the moonlight, which of a camera is without self assertion, she does not have a talkative disposition that can express a beautiful voice that would draw everybody in to listen to it in ecstasy. What? But she will decide to speak at, at the necessary event or occasion if neither of her. Also, she approves not of one of boasting, but There and st- well, I can't talk today, but of one of who proves their art of war that's seen on battle and nothing but results, it is possible to say, to say that this person is a paragon knight who discard property and speak propriety and speak with action before words, and someone who openly is seen as no more than a genuine fighting machine. Oh, yeah, she always wants to bring demon heads and all that, like, oh, I want to bring the head, bring the head of the enemy. Because her character is straightforward and does not put on a falsehood, all things Ushiva Kamaru does completely become the shortest, fastest straight line toward the goal. When ordinary people do this, they usually fail and reflect on the failure and they consider and polish the plan and the, a variety of things subsequently from that. But the problem is, Ushiva Kamaru is a super genius.、Hmm? Because she does not fail. At this f a s e she had completely grown to, to as she is now this unimaginable nature. In battle, Ushiva Kamar is cold hearted, cool headed, and the personification of most subtle hand. But ordinarily, she is a girl who wholly h o l l y wished the following I want to become my older brother's power, I want to be the head's strength, and I want to help his, this splendid figure. I think she'd do pretty well at that. To address this aspect in a few words, a faithful dog with a broken break. She is friendly, bright, and faithful, but a, sc- a screw got out of place somewhere. No, it's become unclear of its whereabouts. <laughs> yeah, that screw, like, yeah, sorry, no, suckers, I'm out. I'm out of this. And,、uh, okay. It does. I will say, reading this about her personality, it doesn't really give me any, like, something that is easy to connect to, you know? Um,. It, it feels like, you know, this, I will say, it feels much based on, like, um, and um, how to say, it, it really is a legend, you know, how she is. And it doesn't really give me a character that I can really like. I mean, I don't hate her either. It's more like, okay, she is beautiful, dignity, grace. She doesn't stop for anything. She has to go to the point, and then she's like, yeah. I mean, okay, that's, that's cool, but it, it doesn't really give me anything that I feel like m a k e it a、uh, uh, character that I can, you know,、uh, in any kind of way relate to or seeing, like, oh, god damn, that's cool. It's more like,、hmm, okay, she's very like that. And、um, I mean, it's like、uh, Bodisha felt a li- bit more like you could, you could easily more. Uh, relate to her in a way because you can understand her why she was like she, the hatred she felt and uh, uh, the big sister feeling to it and all of that that she has and all all these things. But with Ushiva Kamaru, in a way, it feels like alien, you know? That, 
and then again, I guess it explains pretty well with how she is in that regard because she is like very extreme in that way that it's it's really hard to like and un- get a grasp in understanding of her. So I guess that actually makes sense. So, but yeah, okay. Uh, mot- motivation attitude towards master, which overcomes talent sub- uh, sublimated up to its almost outmost limit, and her extraordinary loyalty become un- intertwined. And to a person who does not notice that, they will not only think, even though this unthinkable genius does not truly have a reason to, she has become so emotionally attached to me. It might not be evident that it will harbor fear at that particular uh, percula- peculiarity too. On the other hand, how Oshiwakama treats her subordinates is surely demonic. Die on behalf of me so we can make an easy place for me to fight. That's your role. That doesn't sound nice at all. Whichever camera, if I call on you, humbly receive you, and I shall serve you as a samurai with my whole heart. Even though I was betrayed many times, uh, was betrayed many times, I still want to fight for someone's sake. If you would allow me, to, my lord, to give until the end, let me. No, it's nothing. Pom, pompoko lin. What is that? How about that? That's ah, oh, goddamn it, fucking yeah, my computer. But yeah, that, that's 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 pretty sweet actually. It can, I can I can see that being the case actually that if she doesn't have anyone that that commands her in a way, someone for fighting for you know like how she always have no breaks for like uh, her older brother you know like she she trying to do everything all the time you know, so yeah okay. And saying that she's a genius, I mean, obviously, I assume that she's not a genius in the regard like Da Vinci is, but I assume like a um, combat genius, so to speak. And I mean, genius, in many type of genius, I do say, I do say. Historical imagination and character. Wow, that's a lot. Holy crap. That's a lot. Minamoto no Yoshitsune. In Japan, one can dare say her to be a figure who, where there is probably no person existing who does not know that name. I guess, I mean, in Japan at least, I mean, as I said. Their recognition is also frequently apparent in the proverb called Sympathy sympathy for a Tragic Hero. Namely, a tragic military commander who, will having natural talents and was overflowing with charisma, was driven off in a defeat at the end of a confrontation with Yoritomo, her older brother who was jealous of, of this prominent figure's nature. Apart from the matter of whether it was distinctly right or wrong, this Ush- Ushiwe Kamarus is unmistakably a monster. Really? That doesn't sound good. In any case, Ushiwe Kamaru cannot read the heart of men. She cannot understand this matter, perplexed at her own human being. Love, what in the world is it? And I, I do wonder at times as well, it can be complicated. Ushiwe Kamaru's inquiries of such, she was left under the care of a temple from when she was very young. She was raised up uh, while as someone unaware of either mother's love or a father's love, and a proper parent's love as well as love spun from a significant other is unknown to her. Oh, that sucks. If there was only one fact, Ushiba Kamara was a samurai. A samurai is a person who serves a lord and swears alle- uh, allegiance to them. Concerning her, that was the only truth, and the, for the exception of that, everything else was not worthy, well, worth worrying about. Separate from her parents since when she was a very young child, she was disciplined by Tengu deep in the mountain and she was never able to nurture her humanity. Oh, that, oh, that explains the little hat she has, right? Because Tengu's, doesn't they have like this little hat stuff going on? Uh, that is wh- wh- why, wh- that is the way a faithful dog ought to be. Close to a genuine beast, she fights for the sake of a master, one thoroughly. Okay, oh wait, I, I missed this line there. It's uh, Without concerning herself, for the cause of being praised, Ushikama triumphed. She even won thoroughly. That is to say, she has removed all ostentation from herself. Mm-hmm. For that is not other than because she shoes a way to slaughter her enemy quite efficiently. Yoritomo was afraid of that, and Ushikama's circumstances did not make her popular, popularity rise. It may not be discovered that her friends could turn toward her allies if if it is so to tear off their wieners. Wait, why are you gonna tear off their penises? What? 
they were afraid of in human nature they're not truly fit with a relationship of gaining profit by acquiring power god damn uh, after the, uh, he just, she just, I assume after she destroyed the Tyra clan, Yoritomo immediately began to obliterate Ushivikamura. No, after he destroyed, after he, okay, after he destroyed him. I don't know what's going on, sorry guys, but I'm hungry, I haven't eaten on all day yet. Her social position has not yet settled within their clan, and if she, and, and if he does not destroy her, he will always become anxious about the future. At any rate, Yoshitsune does not understand politics. Me neither. Politics is crazy at times. It's weird. She does not understand the hearts of men. Yeah, it already mentioned that actually. I think a couple times. Um, if an, an antiquated beast similar to that exists as his skin, then it will res result in Yoritomo being unable to make the era he's aiming for. It was rumored in the public street that Yoritomo killed his younger brother at the end of the power struggle. Ushiva Kamura I don't I got I, I <laughs> uh, the synopsis was correct. Regardless of Yoritomo's intention and regardless of Ushivakamura's feelings, if this is the state of a fair rounder, then the sense of having herself disposed of was reasonable. Since the tire disappeared, Ushiva Kamura was Yoritomo's next political opponent in, that, uh, opponent. in addition, as far as Masako uh, Hoyu, her older brother's wife, was concerned, the likes of Minamoto no Yoshitsune was probably unneeded. If so, Ushiva Kamura will behave as her older brother's enemy and do nothing but fight and die in battle, all in accordance with what her older brother desired. Uh, that sucks. Although Ushiva Kamura indeed... In ten of such, her subordinate persu persuaded her, and it resulted in her escaping to Oshu. And yet, Yoritomo Brazil and chased her, deemed her not as family, but as an inhuman monster, and chased after her. Uh, oh, hold on. there we go. Sorry. Uh, that's strange, you know. This is somewhat unreasonable. Though it was human being, it was a hu human beings that preferred emotion rather than gains and losses. I only wanted my old brother to praise me, but I was lacking something. I'm sorry, that couldn't change up to my last moment. That is sad. Although Shukamura was defeated at Osho, her name was carved into history of Japan, all without without understanding the essence of any, anyone as she is. Aw, oh, that is sad. God damn it, it's scaring me. <laughs> that is the new su sub thing I did. Because um, my friend Jan Sahai took, made in uh, commission art. Uh, with uh, he took a commission with Astolfo and uh, his Astolfo and my Darius because he had lots of help of them uh, with farming and all. So yeah, that feels nice. So I need I need to do this. So. Uh, in fake run order, Ushiwakamura is a girl who loves her brother and makes it great effort as a girl who loves her master. That cool behavior does not even get agitated by anything. From it, there is a ferocity one step short of an unleashed berserker. Berserker Ushi Ushiwakamura or someone? Anyone would probably be bewildered by the sight of hers. If a mouse is vexed about that, about if that's the enemy ship is usable, Ushinakami will gallop head towards the ship, visible like a gale would say, My lord, please leave the decision to me. And a few minutes later, she will inform her master about the ship and say, My lord, this way. However, except for the sailor operating a ship for the good of everyone, everyone else will be completely crushed the scene of carnage. Um, where it's like the enemies are bound for the netherworld. Yeah. That's fun. Uchiha Kamara is cool headed Sabona, but ex ex expected. She is too. Uh, is she too? Is a person who draws on the blood of Minamoto clan, a clan which is origin used to be to be the world ruler. Ooh. How about that? She is only a faithful dog towards her master, and she will display a cold-hearted yet sadistic side to anyone except her master. Wasn't wait. She is. Um, She's friendly, bright, and faithful, but she's also sadistic. I guess, but I guess that is only towards the master, and then she's cold-hearted and sadistic to anyone except the master. I'm getting a slightly uh, conflicted feelings here. Connection with characters: Musashi Bobenkei. The man called himself Benkei, and I understand the gist of it, but it's also extremely audacious of him to call himself Benkei. 
I'll mess with him since he's amusing. Then I can kill him and dump him behind the temple and I grow tired of it. I feel bad for him. Jin K. Marf, according to Artori Alta, these three has classified a disappointing trio. Each one of them wears the skin of a person with common sense, but given that they are oddballs, their wavelength greatly match. When I speak to things in my mind, I mostly, mostly everybody gives me a serious look. But Lady Jin K and Lady Marfa openly continuing to in the conversation. Like nothing strange happened. For the first time like that, like this, there are people here that are easy to talk with. Oh, that's nice. Midumoto no Raiko, shyly happy to have her as a great ancestor and get to know her. Ushimakamura feels like Raiko's mother, and for some re uh, reason or another, she feels like, oh, our roots are similar, I tell you. Our film, uh, Raiko is a mother, okay, yeah, and uh, I mean, that is a Raiko's thing. Uh, commentary from Illustrator. Uh, because I had a lot of armor on her, my workload was enormous and largely became my way of doing things. Ushikama actually has a six secret technique that is considered part of a King Maha Mahavai Rokana's Wandering Tales, despite not being listed. As seen in Onigashima, it's called Kikenjo, Icicle Cutting, a technique which allows her to cut through an incoming attack, mainly projectile attacks. This technique is based on Yoshitsune's feat of cutting down arrows that were fired at him as if he was cutting through icicles. Other, uh, others, uh, Yisaiten is the Japanese for Mahasvara, one of Shiva's epithets, meaning great lord. Oh. Eric shows more skin. Well, he do, he do. I can't uh, disagree with that, Potato. He do show more skin. But, um, yeah. That's Usheva Kamaru. Um, I think she's an okay character. I don't feel either, like, dislike or uh, like to her, I would say. I feel pretty neutral about her. Uh, in game, I think she's a pretty uh, seemingly good character, you know, good writer. And uh, I th do think her design is a bit odd. It doesn't actually mention anything about Tanuki thing or anything like that, actually. Just that she's uh, uh, raised by Tengu pretty much and is more like a beast and all that. But she's still trying to be like a human, so. So I. Her design doesn't really make much sense in that regard to me, but uh, I guess there is somewhere. But yeah, I mean, she's Ushiva Kamaru, and um, she's a okay character, I would say. Not my favorite, as said, definitely not, but not someone I hate either. So, she's okay. A okay stamp from me, Lana Kurex. Doesn't really matter, but my opinion. And next character is Alexander Gre. Oh, is yo? It is the little one, Shibiskander. I like Alexander. He, he looks cute. He's such a cutie. And it is pretty fun because the design of his cloth is obviously very similar to Iskandar, but obviously fit for a smaller character that is not like <sighs> that handsome, big, meaty wall. I hope I can get Iskander one day. And it's so fun to see that he turned, he, he's like this super cute little boy, and then he's also this massive super do like, oh, scheisse. Uh, writer, Alexander, historical fact, um, Europe neutral, strength C, endurance B, agility B, mana C, luck A+, plus. god damn, that's lucky ass bastard, MPB+. Plus. Um, character design, a bun bun. Oh, that's a cute name. Uh, ma Call skill magic resistance D. Can constant single action spells. Reading A plus. Can freely control all beasts and vehicles except dragon kind. Like, damn. Uh, divinity E. A attitude as a divine. Attitude as a divine spirit. Although Alexander is said to be the son of the supreme god Zeus, he doesn't possess such a high divinity as a young boy. He will recognize himself as a son of, a son of Zeus as he grows up. To become a great king, so his divinity becomes higher. What? I didn't know that actually. What? Damn. A uh, person, a rosy, rosy cheeked pretty boy. Well, can I agree? Uh, nature is a pretty boy that charms people. It works like magic or like effect of fascination, regardless of gender. But it can be avoided with magic resistance skill. Even without having magic resistance, the effect can be reduced to a certain extent if one. Has has the will to resist. Has the will. I don't have that. 
Uh, charisma seed, extremely high charisma that he displayed as the great king wasn't completely obtained when he was still a young boy. But that portion is already shining as the rosy cheek pretty boy skill. That said, it's always a possibility of an ordinary king. Damn. Sign of supreme king. A portion of the spiritual uh, spiritu spirituality that will be held as the conqueror king, Iskanda. By invigorating the spirit the spirit plus correction are added to all sorts of checks. Damn. Noble Phantas, uh, Bucephalus, trampling conquest of the beginning. Uh, Bucephalus loved the loved horse of Alexander. is a legendary famous horse and is a terrible man-eater horse. What? Dude, feed that horse some corn instead of people. A rampant horse that doesn't let anyone beside him ride her, and which was said that one could ride her would obtain the world. Bucephalus has already become an existence as partially a heroic spirit. In other words, the heroic spirit is a noble phantom. The noble phantom is a heroic spirit. Wait, does this mean that we could actually summon uh, Bucephalus as a servant? That would be cool. The black holes that appear when Alexander of later years, Iskander uses number of phantoms, army of kings, is this book of fathers. And the servant Alexander boy makes use of this horse is embattled by riding her. Upon releasing the true name, a violent charge to what enemy formation performs while riding her, trampling while scattering the lightning of her father Zeus. The scale of destruction is smaller, distant trampling conquest, but the mobility is superior. Holy shit! That is that is insane stuff there. Yikes, I didn't know that. Uh, Zeus Thunder, Blessing of the God. Zeus, Zeus Thunder, the self-recognition of the young Alexander as a child of a god that has become a noble phantasm. The lightning of Zeus strengthened his body when used and increased the rank of divinity skill too. In exchange, the rose cheek priest skill gets ranked down. In other words, if he uses too much, not using fake go. No, I would like to see that what happened. He turned to his scanner and he... Oh, personality, uh, bright cheerfulness, a road chic pretty boy filled with possibilities. His behavior is basically that of a child. He ami ami amiably comes in contact with anyone without exception. But the important point is his calmness. He's not reluctant to show his crew methods if the situation requires it. He fundamentally can't tell lies. He thinks there's no need to lie. While coming to grips with the world by feeling with his five senses, he continued to learn a lot. He was something noticed that the end of human history means nothing but the closing of his own possibilities. And unhappily, he'll oppose it. The manifestation of spirits given his, its first steps will be helped to the master without doubt. Uh, oh well, bright full cheerfulness. Okay, that's, that's nice, that's nice. Motivation and attitude towards the master. His loyalty towards the master isn't that high, but he delivered trust as a friend. Okay, that's good, I guess. Because it's the age of learning, the easy relationship to, uh, to build a friend-schoolmate. Since in the end, uh, the young Alexander is at present world, he's, he's insisting on the wish to become famous as conqueror, the king Iskander, is weak. The abundant large figure, not sure uh, by me that I mean this, he'll somebody grow into an experience, grow into an experience, but he'll hold in his chest, he can't feel it yet, uh, as something of his. Do you mean the heart? Uh, dialogue example. I'm Alexander. Alexander's free is fine too. Other name as well, of course. I'm supposed to be experienced, but this sensation is new. It's strange. Go, book of others. My, tra my trampling starts from here. It was teacher Aristotle said. It was as teacher said. Aristotle wouldn't be cool to servant as well. You're saying. You, do you have something you like? I have a lot. Me too, I'm saying. Historical depiction. The young prince of the Macedonian kingdom in the 4th century BC. An unmatched pretty boy, the Greek philosopher Aristotle, was the first genius among many wise men to discover his talent. And an innocent child that loved the Greek epic Iliad. Ah, the Iliad. That's. 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 Uh, with. Uh, isn't that with the entire thing with Troy and all of that as well? Uh, from the bottom of his heart. Sometimes learning philosophy and fo political science. Sometimes excited. Excitedly absorbed in reading mythology, sometimes accumulating training as a soldier. 
while letting many talent blossom, he was allowed all the possibilities. Ah, that's all stuff. For whatever reason, the Conqueror King is going to summon in shape of the young Alexander boy. Not only his appearance, but his spirit is also that of a young boy. It's not like his memories have been uh, uh, ever lost, but regarding the memories of this youth period, they are a bit in a feeling weak state. Normal armament. We have a multiple? Uh, one hand a sword called Spata for melee attacks. When fighting, usually he rides a large black horse that is a noble phantasm. A prince on a black horse. His loved horse, Book of Fall, is also full fledged heroic spirit. So it is. So we can summon. What? Seriously? Dude, that would be so cool actually to summon Book of Fall as a servant. Uh, related characters Kong Min El Meloy. Kong Min? What? Teacher and student, although he remembers some of the bizarre sensation, he acts as a student. Scan the future self doesn't strike home at all. Darius Free, the future rival. Jeez. Um, commenter from Illustrator, I had looked twice the first moment I got the designation. I was worried about how much of his scan looks I left. Although it's opposition, but I already went serious and draw, drew him. I want to make Book Bookfellas huge in contrast to a young boy of delicate delicate looks. But since the main point Alexander would get small in the screen, she's still growing. That's the little excuse in my brain for making her smaller. Eric is cuter. No, I will disagree with that one. No, Eric is not cuter. Alexander is. But yeah, Alexander, he's also a character that, I mean, uh, I love Iskandar. I think uh, Iskandar is definitely one of my favorite um, servants, definitely. But I don't have much with Alexander yet. I mean, I obviously, I have a level 17 and all that. I haven't used him much, though. I need to try him out a little bit. And it is interesting, though, to see, like, Alexander, you know, Iskander as young, you know. Iskander Lily, so to say. Uh, I, think that, I think that is interesting. It really makes me want to see an Iskander, well, a Darius Lily now, too. <laughs> Make it happen. I would love that. And uh, yeah, in general, as with I will say with as with Ushiva Kamaru, uh, Alexander is a character that I, I like, but I don't um, super much. But it's not I don't hate him either. He's he's, he's a good okay a character, in my opinion. I think he's an interesting. Uh, I I do like his design though. I will say that I think it's a very cool design, very nice. I do say, but yeah, he's an okay character in general. But yes, that will be for me for today. I'm sorry if I'm a bit weird today. I'm really tired right now. I haven't eaten anything. I need to eat. Ugh. I'm starting to feel a bit shaky. But yes, I will be back though next Thursday with more FGO materials. So thank you for watching. See you later on. And have a continuous super great day.